There is overwhelming scientific evidence that man-made carbon emissions is a key component in what's driving greenhouse gases. Carbon emissions uh, are a problem for anything that moves. If you think of the transport sector, where carbon emissions contribute more than 30% of greenhouse gases, that's just one example. Take a port city like Hong Kong. 30% of particulate emissions and CO2 emissions are contributed from, from vessels. And if you then think about how many port cities there are in the world, you get this into perspective. Shanghai, Hamburg, Rotterdam, uh, San Francisco, you name it. So this is an, an, a very big impact we're talking about when we're electrifying machines. So electrification uh, must occur and will occur. That's our conviction that everything that moves will be electrified at some point. But it's just a matter of power and energy density being good enough to serve the machines that, that are out there. So Danfoss Editron is the division in the Danfoss Group that is working on electrifying applications in the marine, in the construction, and the on-highway and off-highway areas. And therefore we made it our mission to try to convince our, the industries that we serve to also use electric uh, power. We are in a time of transition. Our customers have to develop machines that fulfill the requirements of legislation and so on. Therefore, we basically need to be able to help them supply these right components. Our role is to develop the right components, develop the right systems that they can use in their vehicles. So our legacy in hydraulics goes back to the 1960s. That was when we first developed the hydraulic steering units that was used for power steering on tractors. And because we have this insight into what is really the requirement, we can take this back into our product development and design products that fit exactly to the OEM's requirement. We use the application development centers to demonstrate our own products in real applications, but we also use this to benchmark up against competition. The wheel loader we have here in Norbo is an example of how we can apply electric products to a vehicle. We have really looked at how can we optimize this machine, how can we go all the way to fully electrify this and get the value of zero emission. The key ingredient for us is our efficiency, the efficiency in the system. So if you take a propulsion system from, from Danfoss Editron, an electric system, our efficiency is above 85%. And if you compare that with a, a conventional uh, diesel engine propulsion system, the efficiency is lower than 50%. Uh, so the losses in the system in a, in a diesel propulsion system are more than 50%, just wasted in heat. We are investing quite heavily into R&D. And one of the things we believe in is electrification. In combination, we also need to develop the best hydraulic and the most efficient hydraulics. We've done that with the digital displacement pump. If we take electric motors from our Editron portfolio and combine this with the digital displacement technology, we can actually do massive gains. Of the effective energy coming out of an engine, 70% of that energy is wasted as heat in the hydraulic system. We can actually reduce that by 30%, but we can even, we have models showing that we can even get to 50%, making a drastic change in what it means for such an application. This hard work of electrifying machines is paying off. Um, one great example is that we have electrified the longest range pure electric power ferry right here in Denmark, uh, which is a feat in itself. Not a hybrid, there is not a diesel engine in sight, the batteries are charged when the vessel is portside, and it's just one example of how we can really change the carbon footprint in a big way. Electrification is coming for all types of vessels, from small boats to large ferries. Electrification in the marine industry is not something of the future, it is something of today. Ellen is the world's most powerful fully electric vessel of today. Ellen is able to sail seven times longer than any other fully electric vessel. So we have proven with Ellen that she saves approximately 2,500 tons of CO2 per year. So this really shows us the way forward for a marine electrification. 
it's fantastic to be a part of, of, of a project like this. This feeling that, that you don't make any, any, uh, any pollution in the, in the nature and all that is, is just fantastic. Uh, we don't make a lot of sound because it's very quiet. Uh, the reaction on the ferry and, and how fast it goes from full stop to full ahead. What we have achieved now is, is a huge step uh, if you think of what had been done before this project. And uh, you, you open a lot of different possibilities now. All those ferries which have about 22 nautical miles or something like that, we have proved here now that it's possible. I don't think there's a level that can't be uh, driven by or uh, batteries alone. So we're now walking by the, the charging arm, which connects the shore to the ship. And as you see to the right, facing out of the box, is a robot arm, which transmits the power from the shore to the ship, because in the right side, you have the actual plug. It's like an electric plug, similar to you know from your mobile uh, device. The main benefits are increased payload in the form of uh, being able to carry more passengers, being able to carry more cargo, and in some situations being able to increase the number of crossings. As a global thought leader, we want to share the technology of marine electrification with our customers. The tool we are launching is a 3D visual configurator which will allow the customer to understand the dif different options available for different types of vessels. And it will also show you concretely how small our and compact our products are. To drive electrification throughout the world, a uh, couple of things need to happen. We still need to rely on legislation, so there needs to be a, a strong engagement from governments and, and municipalities all over the world to drive a green agenda in, in wherever they are. Uh, but in addition to that, of course, we may have a responsibility to make sure that the machines become more productive and more fuel efficient and affordable. Danfoss as a group also set uh, a carbon neutrality target, so we're going to be carbon neutral by 2030. And, and we actually call this a green restart uh, for Danfoss as a group. So there's a high level of focus on this agenda throughout um, all of our businesses in Danfoss. I think we can maintain our leadership uh, in electrification uh, with the passion we have in our people. You have people here in Danfoss Editron and throughout Danfoss on a group level that have made it their conviction to eradicate the diesel engine. And that's what they wake up and go to work to do every day. And so the motivation to build better and better electrical systems is the driving force for us. In a family-owned company, we have perhaps different values than in many other companies. Because we want to provide a good future for, of course, our company, for the societies where we work, but also for our kids. And that is part of, I think, the beauty of working in a, in a family-owned company, that sometimes we have a little bit of different motivation than, than other companies out there.